This video is going to show you how to calculate the equation of a straight line when the coordinate grid and the scales that have been used are rather more complicated than the ones we've looked at so far in videos 1 and 2. So this is a question um, that's quite common in GCSE exams. They ask you to circle or work out the equation of a line um, based upon a particular context. Now I want you to imagine that this is a um, hire company who are hiring out vans. Okay, and it says that the cost of the hire is given by this graph. And if you look along the bottom here, I've labelled it with days and the letter N, and the cost is labelled with the, the letter C. And for example, one day would cost you £80, just reading from the graph. So you could read from the graph. But quite often the question will ask you, what is the equation of the line? What's a formula that links the cost and the number of days? Now normally when we're working out the equation of a line, I will use this formula, y equals mx plus c. However, on this occasion we're not using the letters y and x for across and up. x is across, y is up. We are actually using the letter n instead of x, and we're using the letter c instead of the y-axis. So I'm going to actually replace that with c equals mn plus c. Okay? It's a bit of annoying because we've got these two c's. I've tried to make that a capital and that one a small c. So basically it's the same deal. We're doing the cost and we're writing it in terms of the number of days, n. But we still need to find out the gradient and the intercept. So to find those two pieces of information, what do we do? Well, to find the intercept is really easy. You just look at where your graph crosses the y-axis, and that is at this point here, 60. So our value of c, our y-intercept, if you like, is equal to 60. To find the gradient of this graph is really tricky. This is where the scale comes in as important. What you need to do is you need to find two points on this line which are going to be really easy to read. There's one. If I zoom in on this one, look, you can see I've chosen a point on the line which is crossing two grid lines exactly. And then if I move down here, it's all a little bit sort of not sure, but that one looks pretty good to me, that one right there. Okay, you've got to be really careful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that triangle that we've been doing. If you've watched the previous videos, you'll know we draw this triangle and we measure how far up and how far along. Now many people would be really tempted to just write 4 here because they're looking at the squares, okay, and they say there's 4 squares up. But actually, you need to be a little bit more cunning than that. You need to look at what that means on the scale. So I'm going to draw these dotted lines in here so that I can see really clearly on the scale how far up it is between those two points. There we go. So the lower point is at 160 and the upper point is at 180. That's a distance of 20 or if you like a cost difference of 20 between those two points. We then need to be looking at how far across we're going to go. Okay, on this triangle here. Now again, we're looking at this and seeing one, two, three, four, five squares, but we're not sure what that means. So let's look down here. Again, I'm going to do some dotted lines like this. There we go. Okay, so you can see what I've done there now. And that is actually one day. So don't put five squares but one day. So to find the gradient 
we need to do how far up, which is 20, divided by how far across, which is 1. It's really important you use the scales. If you were going to do 4 divided by 5 there, you would get the wrong gradient. So don't count squares. You've got to really look at the scales. So the gradient here, 20 divided by 1, is 20. And so if we go back to our form of our equation, we're going to write down that the cost is equal to 20, which is the gradient, times the number of days, plus 60. So the equation here, cost equals gradient times whatever's on the x-axis, n, number of days, plus 60. Okay. So, key things to remember there. It's not always x and y. You need to be flexible and you need to use different letters if necessary. And you need to pay careful attention to scales. You must read the numbers from the scales and not from the uh, number of squares.